guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen with a quick review, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Listen, this is a course that you guys definitely gotta take. Um, you know, it's been a while since I recommended a course from you to me. Um, your boy Stephen Grider released another great course. Stuff that you gonna need, you know, in the near future, especially if you're going for job interviews in major companies. Um, as a junior developer, you gotta understand this. You know, in reality, you wanna have as many projects as you can, but that doesn't guarantee you that somebody's gonna be an a hole and be like, mm, you know what? Let's test this kid. Let's put him through the fire, see if he burns. Right? Sometimes it happens. You know, especially when you self-taught. Especially when you don't have a, a degree, especially when you're a junior developer, you're going to this major companies, you know, let's say uh, to the level of like Facebook, Google and, you know, whatever major company, Amazon, like they will test you. Right. Especially when you haven't been working in a lot of companies for or being in the industry for a while. You know what I mean? Like they got to test you now. I've been saying like, hey, I'm not a huge fan of algorithms, right? Um, and that's because I really don't think that it shows everything. Like, let's say somebody could be really talented and just not remember things, right? So algorithms is not really about how smart you are. Can you figure out the most amazing uh, thing out there? No, it's about remembering, right? If you got good memory and you go over things, you know, a week before the interview you're gonna be you know you're gonna be great on the, the the job interview but that's just how it is right some people they're really good at remembering things some people are actually good on building projects and you know getting the job done you know um like i said you know you might have all your projects you might have everything that you need but they just might be one dude is just like being an a-hole just on the interview but like, you know what Let's bring out the whiteboard and, and let's test them. Let's, uh, you know, reverse the string. Let's sort this tree out. Let's work with some data structures. Let's see what he does with this array. Let's see if he goes through the Fibonacci sequence. Like, there's things out there, guys, that I'll be honest. I'll be like, man, I don't know why they're doing this. Because in the job that we're going to do, in the project that I'm going to be working on, I'm not going to be needing this. But if they ask you those things you want to be prepared you know it just gives you that little oomph you know what i mean like if somebody had a little doubt about you and like oh this guy learned online this this and that it's like hey i i know all this algorithms i i i learned it okay i practiced it here you go you know and i repeat personally i don't think they are important but it's a way to test people it's a way to to weed out you know, the quote unquote best from the rest, you know, but to me, myself, I don't, I don't think that is that, that important right now, when you go to a job interview, it's, it's a different story. Every company is different. You know, what happens to me when I go to a job interview is completely different than what is going to happen to you. You're a junior developer with no experience in learning online. Uh, you know, you might fall into a company that they just might be like, hey, we're going to test this kid out. So for you to be prepared, I definitely recommend this course. And the reason why I recommend this course is because not only does he go over a lot of the material and, and different type of algorithms out there, the most popular ones, the ones that people uh, constantly uh, ask, ask you about, but he also explains it, like really explains it. Like, you know, I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, um, you know how free code camp does algorithms like they don't really do a good explanation on why this is important why people uh, need to learn it what this does this whole course itself it, it goes over every single step and then explains it to you in a way where not only are you going to be able to do it in javascript because the, the course itself is is done with javascript and he does a lot of testing with with jest which is, which is good too because it, it teaches you just to do um, automated testing but also the fact that he teaches it in a way that you could do it in php you could do it in python you can do it in 
uh, Ruby, you could do it in any language because you're understanding the concept. It's not like, hey, you're understanding the JavaScript way to do this. It's more of, hey, this is the concepts. This is what you got to remember how to solve this problem. So this one gets my A1 approval. I'm adding this one to all my videos on the descriptions. Um, I'm also going to add it to my list. I'm coming out with a Black Friday list. The courses that everybody should have. You know, if you're going to buy a course, those are the ones that you need. And I'm also going to create a list of the most popular by sales. Because I get uh, emails from Udemy directly, um, basically, with all the information, which are the top selling courses. Which means it's... The most popular ones, the ones that are really out there, the ones that people are really enjoying. Because you got to understand this. When they count the class as a sold item, they count it 30 days after. It's not just that first that first day you, you order it and you're like, okay, cool. They count it 30 days after because they, they count it after the refund um, date that is over, right? So pretty much people have kept those classes everybody here knows like hey you buy a class you could refund it hey you know what i mean if the class is bad refund it you know so that's just how it is so i'm basically creating those two those two um lists i'm gonna create one that's gonna be my black friday list that people need to buy for sure um and then a top list that i'm gonna do i don't know maybe two weeks from now at the end of the month or something where i'm probably gonna do this once a month of showing which one are the top selling courses on Udemy for that month. Okay. So yeah, man, go check this out, man. Go try it out. I'll be honest, guys, like you're going to get a lot for, for your money. It's 10 bucks. He goes into everything, every single thing that I've seen in, you know, in interviews as far as like, uh, you know, whiteboards, he actually has it here. Like I was really surprised, you know, like there's a lot of stuff that I see, I've seen stack stacking with uh, with stacks. I've seen linked lists. I said building tree, uh, tree with with level with, um, sorting with with bubble sort. Um, you know, like there's so many ones. Like you no, know, you know the Fibonacci sequence. This also um, uh, integer reversal, uh, max characters, um, anagrams. Like those are the ones that I personally have seen in interviews. You know, and the ones that I could say, hey, they asked you this, you know, a lot of times, you know, just to test you, you know what I mean? Like, um, that's just how it is. So, yeah, man, go check it out. It's your boy, Joe, back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. And for those of you guys that, you know, you want to check out my courses, what I do, you know, right now we're building this amazing uh, course for PHP. Like, it's complete, man. All the syntax is complete. Now we working on a CRUD, which is going to be create, read, update, delete. It's just a simple uh, project, but it's not really that simple because <laughs> we, we're basically doing everything by hand, coding every single thing, no framework, no nothing, just pretty much understanding what happens when you create, read, update, delete uh, with my SQL, and then from there we jump into the project that I've been showing you guys uh, for the past like two, three days, which is a project where we're building a basically it's a AP, it's, it's a project that connects to the API of Behance. And then pretty much you could save the images depending on what you need for your project for inspiration. Like let's say, for example, I'm building an e-commerce website. I search for e-commerce uh, designs out there and then I choose which ones are the ones that I'm inspired by so I could have it like a collage and choose the best things that I like like let's say I like the menu of this I like the the you know the top section of this I like the body of this I like the footer of this and basically you're gonna be able to create your own website out of the designs that you added to your project right so you're learning how to deal with our uh, APIs. You're learning how to create your own website with uh, Laravel. You're learning how to uh, deal with migrations, MySQL. You're learning how to do authentication. You're learning how to deal with sessions, cookies, the whole shebang, guys. 
like it's a super complete course in PHP 7 it's not like you know the old school way of doing things we're showing you the most modern way to work with PHP you know a lot of people talk bad about PHP but PHP has gone a long way it's like pretty modern now right now like I said all the time it's 80 percent of the internet so at some point you're gonna have to learn PHP no matter what you can't run away from it you know it could be on Laravel it could be on WordPress it could be on on uh, Silex it could be on uh, a million code igniter it doesn't matter at some point on your career you're gonna have to deal with PHP even if it's just doing a cron job all right so yeah check that out you go to my website codingface.com it's right there man it's gonna take you straight to my website you're gonna see it you're gonna be good you gotta enjoy it learn PHP 7 and Laravel master course you think I'll see you guys later Bow. hey guys just a little reminder I'm always changing the description of all my videos at all time right so whenever you see that I talk about a link to a website or a link to a course or a link to anything or even an article I want you guys to start looking at them on the comments because I'm going to start putting them on the comments the description I'm also gonna have you know the major courses that I, I, I tell people to check out but when I talk about something specifically your article or a blog or anything a video that I'm talking about I'm going to be putting on the comments if you don't see the link on the description make sure you look at the comments it should be here first because I'm always gonna pin the link okay so yeah I'll see you guys later bye